Hello, this is Steve Powers. Today I want to show you a uh, quick way to extract uh, the sequence of images from a movie. So what I have done here is recorded a MOV file from a camera and there are a bunch of uh, images that I would like to uh, create a composition from that are on this MOV file. Now I want to look at the in individual images frame by frame and I, I could uh, put this into a media player classic and just capture the image uh, one at a time as I see fit. But what if there's a large uh, file that you're not sure what you want to do and it's a lot easier to look at each image as an image file. So in this case what I'm going to do is convert this MAW file into an AVI and then uh, strip the sequence of images into a separate folder. Alright, the two programs that we're going to be using for this tutorial are both free programs. Uh, they are Pizarro MP4 to AVI Converter. It will also convert MOVs and uh, Matroskis to AVIs. The next one is going to be Virtual Dub Mod, which is an AVI editor. Uh, they can be found one at CNET, has the Pizarro, and uh, Virtual Dub Mod can be found at uh, Video Help. First, we're going to convert our MOV file to an AVI. So we're just going to drag it in here. If you look down here, we can pick our different um, codecs. In this case, I am going to use Exit. I'm going to do a two-pass encoding. The frames are going to be auto, and I'm going to set the bitrate to auto. Over here on resolution, I'm actually going to make sure it is set to 100%. Uh, I don't want to lose anything. And after we do that, we just hit um, convert. And it won't take long to convert this. And you can see, since this is only, I think, like 45 seconds, it will take a... Uh, this is all in real time. And this will uh, convert it to our AVI. That's first pass. Second pass. When this is done, the status up here will change from converting to uh, completed. And we can click done. Cl or click close because it is done. Now that we have the AVI, we can uh, bring this into virtual dub mod. Um, go here, once it's in there, go up to file. It says save image sequence. Uh, we'll change this to PNG. I like to work with them more often. But we're going to uh, just give this uh, a simple name. And this is um, image sequence underscore. And it will uh, number them. Give it an output um, directory. Which uh, I don't want to show my computer image sequence right here put it right there and hit OK and again this will take um, a very short time so let's uh, pause this and come back once this is done alright so in three, uh, 3 minutes and 50 seconds I took a 45 second video and converted it to 1,367 individual images, most of which I'm going to discard until I find the ones I want to keep. Um, this is a good process in case you do take video and say, hey, I, would, I wish I took a picture of that instead of a video of it. Uh, so it can come in handy, and these are free programs. It's a great process. It's a quick process, and it's a, an expensive process. All right, well, that brings us to the conclusion of this tutorial. Hopefully um, this has been informative, something uh, you can use yourself. If you have any questions or comments, please post them to uh, my blog or to this video, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Have a good day. Thank you.